I am Roigos, vanquisher of foes, king of Adrissia. The old kingdom is restored with land from Byzantium and Philippopolis. Who else can claim that right? The king of the Thracians. Kabile cowers away in fear, and the Trebali stand alone at the edge of civilization. The Maidi and Denthalate fight constant wars over hilltop hovels. So it is I who reserves that right. It is I who unified us, and it is I who has sent the Greeks reeling in the east and the north. So I claim it. I am the king of the Thracians. Who else can stand in my way? Hi guys, welcome back, and today we are continuing our multi-front war as Odrysia with Byzantium and Pontic Pentapolis up in the north. Now we've got a couple of things that we need to do right away, and first of all we are going to jump out of uh, Bysanthe over here. There we go. It's actually relatively happy by itself. We're also going to try and repair that building in there too. And just leave behind a singular guy, which we can replace later on with Captain Cotus over here. And then we are going to go for the attack on these guys over here. So let's go for that. Looks like they will run away. But let's go and attack them. It's pretty much all missile troops. So again, it's going to be a job for the cavalry. But let's see how we can do there, guys. Let's go. Well, we've got straight into the action here, guys, by putting some pressure on their cavalry. I mean, it is all just missile troops. The only thing I'm slightly worried about is the uh, Zistaphore, which is around here somewhere. So, I mean, you guys just halt if the Tarantines are going to attack us. Halt? Did I say halt or not? There we go. Looks like the Tarantines are going to come in. It's going to be... A little bit damaging, but as you can see, not too much at all. Let's now get into the Zistaphore. And as you can see, Roigos and uh, our other general here have, like, full gold experience. Or at least two for um, Kotis over here, which is pretty insane. So we should absolutely destroy the Zistaphore. There we go. Looking very, very good indeed. There we go. And ideally, we want to destroy this whole army, but uh, I'm not sure whether we'll be able to. Let's see if we want to halt those guys as well. Halt them and kill the Greek bodyguard. And then, yeah, the rest of us will just run through everyone else. Should be nice and fun. And there goes their general, guys. Very nice indeed. Let's just get into these Epibartai over here. They shouldn't be too hard to beat. Uh, but yeah, it's just as long as we can catch them. I mean, this is horde gameplay once again, guys. But uh, I'm not too bothered about that. Let's see if we can uh, attack them. Does this aff uh, the... The Epibarte are a decent unit, but uh, like, I, like I say, they, they are just breaking there. Very nice. Let's, uh, and then let's, once we've got them, guys, let's uh, stick that on. And let's see if we can kill this uh, this cavalry unit. And I think that is it. Fantastic, guys. Fantastic. Well, there we go, guys. Once again, showing the strength of the Thracians, especially against these whole, like, missile unit rosters. Like, I, I wasn't expecting this from Byzantium, to be honest. I thought they'd have some hoplites or something like that, but <laughs> apparently not. Apparently, they just want, uh, like, missile troops. So, if they're going to keep doing that, that's absolutely fine by me. Let's go. Well, there we go, guys. We actually got a little bit of cash from that. I don't think it's enough to repair this. No, it is not. But hopefully, we can go and kill these guys again. And this one, 100% will only use the cavalry. Um, there we go. And they are blocked. Fantastic. Let's get into this one as well. How many of us who look upon this dawn will yes. to see the night? I tell you, the sons of Greece will see the dusk and will be triumphant. Wait, the, so the sons of Greece? Uh, I think you've got the wrong, the wrong, <laughs> the wrong people there, bro. But, uh, okay, not too bothered anyway. <laughs> and uh, like I say, we'll just use uh, these guys. And for some reason, they have just constantly blobbed up like this. Like, what is this? What is this? Hopefully, we can do a devastating charge, though. That should be good. In fact, what I'm going to try and do is get the royal bodyguards out this way because they're so insanely powerful. Already broke one of the units there. 
Very nice. Keep on going. Let's see if we can uh, gather all of these guys up and then uh, surround them. So you guys come around. Fantastic. And there we go. Straight into the back of the Greek general's bodyguard. We're going to rally Roigos. He's all the way over there. Fantastic for us. That is everyone routing. <laughs> and there we go. That, I mean, <laughs> doesn't get much simpler than that, really, does it, guys? <laughs> and there goes the general. And I don't think we'll catch any of the Prodromoi, but we can at least catch the uh, Akontistai. And we actually didn't catch many Akontistai there, but uh, a glorious battle nonetheless. And I think we're just showing Byzantium that, uh, yeah, they can't get away with this. And honestly, with this army, guys, I am very much considering running all the way back to Adrissa, which we can actually do, and getting some retraining in next turn. We can actually do one level of retraining now for a couple of units. But yeah, getting the retraining in for next turn, that'll be fantastic. And then starting afresh, maybe going across to Byzantium or choosing to go further north. I just wanted to show you Roigos's traits, guys. He is insane. He's a famous general now. Um, he is devoted. Um, of course, he hates lots of people as well. Um, he's a lord of men. An immense legion of fervent supporters stands united behind this leader who now enjoys overwhelming backing from the highest echelons of society. A seasoned commander, experienced raider, war chief. He is just fantastic. Like, he's got so many good traits. Respected Thracian as well. He is revered and respected among Thracians. He is a potential unifier. We've seen that one before. And he's a great leader. Like, he is a, a fantastic uh, guy there that we've got leading our nation. Up in the north, I am trying to do this little battle, which is a tasty little one. But it apparently... Hmm... That's interesting. I wonder why it thinks that they can win. I mean, they do have more sort of missile troops there and then a single general, but it doesn't look that disparate to me. But let's uh, let's find out, guys. Let's go and push Pontic Pentapolis back. Well, I'm really hoping that they think that they have the advantage and will come and attack us, but unfortunately, it doesn't really look like that. So we are going to have to go... And start skirmishing with them. We will just walk our men, of course, not run. But I may try and uh, get rid of this general first by bringing my cavalry north. Well, here we go. We are go about to get into battle with that general. Uh, these guys... Ah, there we go. No, 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 no you idiots. <laughs> so they were on skirmish mode and decided to run past him. I feel like that's a little bit of a strange, strange choice to make. But uh, as long as we are firing javies at him, I guess that's all that matters. Hopefully, we can take down a few of them. 37 right now. 37. So, uh, yeah, he's not doing too well. The rest of them look like they might be trying to uh, come and join. Let's see if we can uh, move out of the way, maybe. And, yeah, 31 now. 31. So, yeah, he is managing to... Come on, guys. Why are you so slow? Come on. Come on. There we go. And let's see if we can maybe surround them here. So we'll charge him, and then we're going to charge him in the back. We're going to rally the men as well, and then hopefully this will be it done. Let's see. There we go. Nice little charge. Took down a few of the men, and now he's just down to 15 when he was on 40 before. So, yeah, I can't see these guys winning it now that they don't have that support of the general. Hopefully we can kill him, though, remember? There we go. That's their king as well. God damn it. That, they just keep getting new kings. <laughs> well, here we are. Nice and close to them now. I'm basically just going to try and skirmish with them for, for as long as possible. I just want to bait them into action because, remember, they do have two Prodromoi up here, which are going to be very, very annoying to fight. So we've got to use our missile men as well as we possibly can. Hopefully by firing at the Prodromoi. A little tip as well, guys. If you put your archers on guard mode and target a unit and then the unit runs outside of the range, they won't chase after them. Whereas if you do the, uh, um, if you don't put them on guard mode, they will. So if you want to avoid that, you can put them on guard mode. Looks like the Prodromoi are coming now. So, ah, uh, quick, let me get the gun. Get the gun. Get the men. Why are they, like, these idiots, what are they doing? So annoying. God damn it. God damn it. Well, we're going to lose a lot of men here, unfortunately. But, guys, just, just, uh, this Getic infantry is pissing me off. Like, what are they doing? Like, why is everyone running through our men? Like, fight them, for God's sake. You idiots. Well, anyway, we got rid of one of the Prodromois, which is good. And uh, hopefully we can get rid of the other. And then I can get rid of the Getic infantry. We shall see. We shall see. 
Bit of a stupid charge there, to be fair. So I'm just going to bring the men out north, away from this action. Come on, guys, get out. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, my God. Like, why do they not listen? Like, please, listen. <laughs> like, it would be nice, you know. It would be nice. And for some reason, our general doesn't want to fire their javelins, which is just kind of stupid. But, uh, okay, they've now got two Prodromoi back, which is very, very annoying. I'm not going to lie. Hopefully, we can get rid of some of these Getic Light Infantry with our archers. Uh, but there we go. Yeah, yeah, the Prodromoi are not going not gonna to fight us, so we're just going to hide behind our archers. But that was... That was not greatly managed by us, but there wasn't really that much we could have done about it. Especially with the AI just basically just running through our units that were there to defend against them. But, um, yeah, whatever. Right, here we go again. Looks like they are coming in for the charge with the Getic Light Infantry. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's chill out a little bit. We don't want the same thing to happen again. But it looks like it's not going to. Okay, fantastic. We're just going to come around slightly then. And we did manage to catch the Prodromoi. There we go. Good. And we have broken them. Fantastic. Look at the Getic Light Infantry, though. They're so obsessed with the cavalry. It's ridiculous. But here comes the Prodromoi. They have managed to charge in and break our men. And now we're the wrong side because our men broke. Oh, so that is, that is not ideal. <laughs> that is not ideal, I've got to say. This is turning out to be a bit of a nightmare. Probably quite mismanaged by me, but at the same time, it is a nightmare. Guys, charge! What is that? That was awful. I, like, I struggle to call that a charge. They ran left and then right rather than actually charging. Which is incredibly annoying, but what can you do? Well, now their general has broken just from firing arrows at them. But yeah, this is a mess of a battle, honestly. <laughs> I am sorry, guys. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we can uh, we can turn this around somehow. There we go. We managed to uh, turn them around so we can fire into the back of them. Come on, guys. Fire again. And all we need to do now is break them. That is the problem, though. They don't look like they are ready to break. So we are just going to keep on... Trying to skirmish with them, if we can. Well, this is just literally micro right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm charging my cavalry and then turning my uh, my guys around. And then turning these guys around and firing at them. And uh, it is seeming to work, to be fair. But uh, yeah, a lot of micro, a lot of micro. Well, there we go. After a lot of micro, <laughs> we managed to kill those guys. So yeah, I think that was a semi-successful battle. I mean... Ultimately, we just didn't have the infantry to protect everything in the end. But the archers doing an absolute load of good for us there. 101 for this archer unit. Fantastic. Let's get off the battlefield. Well, I think the unfortunate thing is we don't have enough troops now to take on these guys at all. However, if we do stand next to the city here... Um, the only thing I'm worried about is this guy coming and attacking us, which is very likely. But if we lose this army, it's not too bad. I mean, Dernaios, he's not the worst, but he's not amazing either. So, uh, yeah, no, it, it should be okay. And we do have actual infantry in there. So if we can get inside the city with our archers and stuff, we should be okay there. But uh, I think that is everything for this turn, guys. So I'm going to end the turn there. And they did actually attack in the north. I was not expecting that, um, as in attack the town rather than the army. So, yeah, let's get into it. Hopefully, we'll be able to defend against this. I mean, it's not amazing. The Greek hoplites are going to be annoying. But apart from that, it should be fine. So, let's go. And honestly, I'm not going to defend the gates because they probably will manage to attack us with the Akontista and the Slingers. And by staying in the middle here, we should have time to bring the rest of our army. So uh, let's see what happens. And apparently our reinforcements are coming in exactly behind them. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's not exactly what we really wanted, guys, is it? But <laughs> as long as we can get these boys forward and potentially... Yeah, I'm just going to go charge the Greek Slingers with these guys. Like I say, I don't really don't care about fighting them too much. Let's see how we do on the charge here, boys. So, there we go. I mean, hopefully the Greek Slingers will just rout, but you never know, do you? There we go. We lost quite a few men in that charge there. Okay, they're still eager. Of course, they have the general in the unit, which uh, 
yeah, is not going to be uh, ideal. But maybe we can just uh, hop back and then do that. And then be able to beat them that way. And once again, the archers come in in absolute ham. We have Akontistai here that we should be able to uh, absolutely shred. So let's see what we can do. I don't really want them to get any javelins off. But would that be javelin range there? Maybe it will be. Maybe it will be. But even if it is... We still have plenty of uh, archers ready to go. So let's go for the charge into them and uh, see what we can do. And there we go. We broke them straight away. So let's start firing back at the Greek Slingers. And there goes the gate. And there goes the gate. Um, and I think with this amount of troops, we definitely do have the opportunity to beat this Greek Hoplite. No problem now. But it looks like they are not going to come out and fight inside the city. They're going to come and fight over here. So... I mean, they can do that, but it's going to be dumb for them. Oh, no. Now they're going into the city. So we will follow them with our cavalry. And we'll let this last person die. And then we'll follow them with our archers as well. Well, then the uh, the Greek hoplites decided to fight my unit of like seven long spearmen. That's absolutely fine. Gives us a chance to fire at them, which hopefully these guys are able to do through the gate. As you can see, they are. Um, I've also got my cavalry over here just out the way, basically. And hopefully once that happens, they're going to come down this way. We can get our cavalry in behind them to charge them. But yeah, they're, 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 they're taking their time doing it, I've got to say. And once again, for some reason, they decide to, uh, to attack my archers rather than the town square. So we'll just run away. Come on, guys. It would be nice if you decided to run rather than walking. But yeah, go on, guys. <laughs> Let's just go. What are they doing? <laughs> well, maybe we can actually lead them to the town square by doing this because at the moment they're doing nothing. They're just chasing our archers around. So, yeah. And look at that. When they are face on, we do like no damage to them whatsoever. If those guys were actually firing properly then, which it's quite likely that they weren't. And these arrows are doing absolutely nothing to them. Genuinely nothing, which is... <laughs> A little bit of a shame, but uh, what can you do? And for some reason, our guys decided that pathing wasn't on their agenda today. And they're just going to stand there rather than actually running. Thank you, pathing, once again in Rome 1. I love you. <laughs> oh, and finally, they actually decided to get onto the town square. So what we're going to do is get our guys here. We'll also get our cavalry through in a little moment i'm thinking about getting the guys like here like this and i was just about to say here come the rum fire foray but we did manage to break them just by firing some javis into them so i am going to chase them down guys well we didn't even need to chase them down they fought to the death on the town square i think that's a good result a uh, bit of a laborious battle, honestly, for the uh, the size of it. But we did manage to defend our newly conquered land, which, of course, is all important. And kind of as expected, the big guys did come and attack us. So let's withdraw from the battle. And the Tribali want an alliance, and they are al actually allied with the Gete. So that would be fantastically oh, helpful to us. Absolutely. We are allied with the Seleucids, the Dentalate, the Paeonians and the Trebali at the moment, which is amazing. And I'm assuming we already have trade trade rights with them, but that is fantastic. Let's see if we can go map for map. I know it's, uh, we'll see if we can get some money from it then as well. So let's try and get 2,000 from them. Nope, apparently not. Well guys, here we are on the next turn. And as you can see, this army did come forward and didn't actually siege down the settlement. So sucks to be them. We can actually go into the settlement here. And Mesembria, if we look at it, is the only settlement bordering them. So honestly, I think we do that. And I'm going to pop this guy onto the port here and see if there are any mercenaries. There are mercenaries. Hmm. Do we want to consider mercenaries for a siege defense here? They are so expensive, though. Hmm. The Thracian Peltas would be good. It's a lot of money, but I think it had to be done. And then the rest of our money, unfortunately is also going to be spent on retraining. And we did manage to actually retrain everyone here too. And in terms of what we want next... Um, yeah, I mean, it would be nice to get some archers in this army, honestly, to get to deal with, like, some of the further away missile troops. What's better, the archers or the slingers? I mean, the archers are just, in general, a lot better. So let's get an archer there as well. And we can actually move a few of the long spearmen and the archers around. I moved one of the archers from over here 
into there as well. And then remember, we have this guy who needs to go into Basanthe now. And then we can bring these guys back and potentially retrain them as well. No, we don't have any armor upgrades in here, which hopefully we can get soon. But let's have a look at what else we have. We have Rioting in Byzantium. They're actually fine now. That's good. Dardania has a spy in our lands, which is a little bit concerning, but it's not too bad. So there we go. Kabile, we we recruited something and we're fine. Suthopolis, yeah, we've, we've got rid of all of those boys. Fantastic. And what did we build? We built a few different things, but that is absolutely perfect. We've got our ship now. We can get across to Byzantium. We just need to wait potentially another turn. And then I think we'll be good. I don't like the fact that there are Peltas in there. We've also got our two generals here. So let's see what happens. Byzantium's still happy. So yeah, we probably want to go for the highest population, which would be Perinthos, I believe. Yeah, let's go for Perinthos. We'll govern that ourselves with a general. And in terms of the rest of the money, it is going to be repairing um, that building in Bisanthe as well. And I don't think there's anything else we can really do right now. We're just waiting to see what happens with this guy who has mercenary trolley and infantry. Now, that that is rather scary. Even with this defense, like with the Romfire 4 and everything, trolley and infantry is not exactly the one that you want to fight. But if we can get rid of as many of them as possible, as many of the units in here as possible before we have to go back and fight them, that'll be fantastic. Um, so let's end the turn, guys. And there goes Pontic Pentapolis. Well then, Pontic Pentapolis and the Kabile did attack us. This is a mess down here, and I really don't like it. I am so glad we're allied to the Seleucids for the time being. I've got a feeling that that is not going to last very long. Ideally, we need this to, like, revolt. Oh, they have got Persian units in here. Persian Sparabara in there. I wonder whether that... That is, uh, that there's a historical reason behind that. But ideally, we need this to be attacked by the uh, Antigonids or something like that, just to basically sort us out there, really. Now, we're going to send you up to Kabile. We're going to take our army that's in Adrissa. We're going to pop out of here. And I'm not worried about that Kabile army. What I am worried about is this Kabile army. So, and like I say, this. Like, this is doomed. Like, we're not going to be able to do anything here. So, I'm not too bothered about sorting that out. Although we could. But I'd rather just take out Kabile. Because they've been very annoying. And I'm hoping that this is the only land that they have. That is Tylus. That is Tylus. Cool. Yeah, and that is Tribali. So, this is the only land that they have left. Just this town up here. So, we want to go and deal with that rather than anything else. Nothing else of interest for us on those screens. And we just basically retrained everything in Odrissa. We got a couple of markets. Let's have a look at our agents. We've just got that one spy still who is doing a good job spying down here. Honestly, let's move a bit closer to the thick of the action over here. And then let's also get a spy here that we can send up north. And then the rest of our money, we will finally build some stuff, guys. <laughs> First time in a while. First of all, though, let's definitely build in a Drissa. And I'm also going to put our capital down to low to try and grow it faster. We're going to get blacksmith because that's going to be very helpful for us going forward. And then we're going to build in some of the places that we have recently conquered. Um, and I think the best things are sort of the tavern and the sewers. Although... We could get the Shrine to Dionysus down here, which is a bit of happiness. I think that's going to be a good option for us. And then we'll get the sewers in Byzantium. Then over here, let's keep building up our farming network because that's going to be incredibly useful going forward. So let's keep on building that everywhere that we can. That is going to build up a load of, a load of money. I mean, what did we build there? Five farms. So that is going to be what? About 350 extra gold a turn, which doesn't sound like a lot, guys, but definitely at this point of the campaign, it is quite a lot for us. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's end the turn then. And as expected, Kabile did decide to siege down Suthopolis. Honestly, we're just going to screw over the AI by uh, coming and sieging this down. Th that is the most stupidest army to defend a uh, town. I don't know whether they were getting ready to add them to another army. 
But uh, yeah, it could be like not the cleverest of thing there, I've got to say. And then we've got a new, the Lysiads have emerged. Central Anatolia. Hopefully that's going to distract the Seleucids. But honestly, I, I'm not going to hold out hope for that. The Seleucid AI is, is a little bit dumb when it comes to things attacking them. Luckily, that army is on the other side of the river. Um, Metrophanes over here. Is that Antigonus? No, we've got Perdicas over there as well. So, yeah. Interesting stuff. Let's keep on going. These guys, I'm assuming, don't have a ram. No, it's just cavalry. So, once we've taken... Um, Abu Len Siopolis <laughs> will be good, and we've got a load of uh, a load of places turning into a large town. Fantastic! Let's uh, go for that farming money then again, like we did before. There we go. Fantastic! And then let's see what else we can build. Corylopolis. Anything interesting? I mean, hmm. I I am going to consider building roads there. I think we will build roads there because it will be faster to get between that area most other places that we don't have roads they're not necessar necessarily needed like over here for example but uh Corylopolis is probably a good example of where we would want roads and now we're down to 30 happiness i don't know why this has got so unhappy i'm assuming there's about five spies in there um which is is not ideal <laughs> let's be honest but let's uh, end the turn there and there come the Pontic Pentapolis. Now, in terms of the units that they do have, we definitely don't have enough to hold them off. But I feel like we can do a decent amount of damage against them here. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we can do. It's probably not going to be enough, but hopefully we can do a decent amount of damage to some of these units. Let's go. So guys, on this side, we have our skill trump, basically to block them off once they get into the city. I am going to sacrifice this unit to try and stop these two edge rams. As you can see, this side we have no towers because it's the low tier walls. So yeah, we literally can't destroy this ram without anything. On this side, I'm just hoping that we manage to burn the ram with our archers. If not, that's fine, but uh, yeah, it's not going to be ideal, but uh, let's see what we can do. And here we go. Oh, okay. Looks like their cavalry is going to come after us here. Rather than letting us get away with what we want to. Uh, I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, so, yeah. If they're going to chase us the whole way around, we'll chase them, like, past here. So that they got, start getting shot. And will you stop stopping? Like, will you actually, like, run? Um, like, there we go. Our guys are routing. That's okay. That's okay. Hopefully, they'll... Still try and get through this way, but I guess we'll find out. And we are firing at the Trollian infantry here as well, which is definitely the option because look at these guys. Look how good they look. They look amazing, but they are also an amazing unit. So, yeah. Over this side, we've got our guys firing at the ram uh, from <laughs> right next to them because they won't actually fire over the gates, but I don't think it's going to burn it, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. And here come the Thurio Foroi. Hopefully, they will just get straight into the action rather than um, firing their javis because they're straight through the gate, but let's see what they do. Looks like they are just going to get straight in the action. There we go. Fantastic. And hopefully, we can just hold these guys off for as long as possible is the idea here. Just as long as possible. And unfortunately, the gate did not burn on the other side either. So that's going to be a bit of a nightmare. These guys are holding off as long as they can. But yeah, it's not going to be much longer. I mean, the Thurio Foray have hardly even died here. <laughs> oh dear. It's basically just a delaying tactic, really. But uh, yeah, what can you do? In fact, what we'll do is we'll get these guys here. We'll put them on guard mode. And then hopefully... These boys can fire over them. They're going to have to turn around the other way, aren't they? But, uh, yeah, there we go. There they go. They are running now. And I think, honestly, this side, we might as well go for the charge. Because what is this? 13 Thurio Foray and 100 Greek Peltas. We might as well just use our general to try and get rid of as many units as possible. Take you guys off that mode. And hopefully we can get rid of as many of these troops as possible. I mean... There's a lot, really, isn't there? I, I think I was a bit ambitious with what I was saying before. 
honestly, <laughs> about these armies. Let's see how we do across this side. There we go. And we did terribly. I, I don't understand how you don't just, like, run through the Greek Peltasts. <laughs> like, these guys have no armor. They're literally wearing robes. And yet, you struggle to charge them. I think it's just the pathing in the city. But that unit should just ruin them. Like, should have been about 30 deaths there, surely. Right, you guys get forward. See what you can do. And, uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, and there go the Thracians. That's not ideal. Uh, the Thracian Peltas, that's not ideal. I did not expect them to break so early, honestly. You guys charge. There we go. Let's get one good charge off. And that was terrible. Obviously, we were stood way too close. You guys keep on firing your javis. And then these guys, hopefully these guys can stand up a lot better. We shall see. We shall see. I'm going to keep them on guard mode. So they basically just hold position. And uh, let's see what we can do here. Probably just die. That is probably what we're just going to do. Well, there goes their uh, Hippocontisti, though. Their Hippocontisti are scared. That's amazing for us. But I don't think we can beat that trolley and infantry, honestly. Like, keep firing your javis, guys. Absolutely. But, uh, yeah. Oh, they're going to fire their javis now, though. That's the problem. Okay, luckily they didn't fire many. So, yeah, fantastic. And we should be able to beat these Greek Peltas, even with so few men here. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's see. Let's bring these guys into here to fire. And we've also got more javelins firing across. Good. More. Okay, we lost a lot of men to javelins there. So hopefully they get involved in the fight now. Oh, here comes the 304. They came around the other side. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's attack them. Well, these poor Rumfire 4 are getting attacked on both sides. So I'm just basically cycle charging. Oh, stop doing that AI. I hate it when the AI is able to do that, but we are not able it's so dumb. It's so, so dumb. Like, they can just fire javelins in the middle of melee if they want to. Like, what we have to do is, like, alt attack, do that, alt attack, do that, and then it should do it, but... They just stop, and then they all die, whereas the AI just doesn't seem to die when it does that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just being salty, which is very, very likely, but... Well, the only one that seems to be doing well at all is uh, this unit over here who has broken everyone that it's come into contact with. In fact, we're just going to bring them back to try and fight the other guys over here because this unit is dead. So, uh, yeah, you guys just need to keep firing if you can. And uh, that's it. These guys are kind of glitched by the pathing, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, there's nothing we can do about that. Well, there goes the general, as expected. Let's now get into the fight with these boys. We're still firing across here. You guys go and... Uh, Go and fire if you want to. Well, there we go. The gallant forces are continuing to fight. But there's nothing we can really do now. Um, so, yeah. That is everything, unfortunately. There we go. And we did kill 382. Honestly, that is better than I was expecting. We halved Captain Xanthippos' army. Captain Europos, though, uh, still does have a significant army. Only lost about 200 men. But that's better than nothing, and hopefully we killed a lot of the Tralians, which were a very scary unit. Well then, guys, let us continue. I'm thinking, honestly, we just auto-resolve that. Like, 60 men, yeah. I was going to say, there probably wouldn't be many men, um, and they've literally used all of the population to recruit, so... <laughs> Uh, I don't think we're going to need any of those military buildings, so we might as well use some of that money right now. Also, do we want that temple? Probably not. We don't have access to the Temple of Zeus, I don't believe. And if we do, we don't want it. Yeah, we don't. We've got a Hebelesis, but I think we'll go for Dionysus. And then, yeah, we'll have to leave the archers behind. Um, what are you? You're archer so yeah we'll, we'll bring all of the archers in this army we'll pop out to there we'll put you in there and they're perfectly happy now and of course these guys have turned to rebels so we will have to deal with them at some point but unfortunately we are a little bit too busy right now to deal with that oh my god look at this chaos down here that is horror that is an absolute horror show oh dear yep um <laughs> just gonna ignore that for now and go and deal with Mesembria. We can actually assault it straight away. Honestly, I don't want to assault this. I want to let it uh, run down if we can. 
Uh, for now. For now. Maybe we'll assault it in a couple of turns. But we are going to take so many losses if we assault that city. So many losses if we do that. Let's uh, do the rest of our building then, guys. And we are finally building in a few more places this turn. So that is good. Let's go for the sewers. No, let's go for the farms at Philippopolis. Uh, Apollonia Pontos. Hmm, across here. Yeah, not too much that's that useful. Let's go for the market for now. And then Bisanthe, which is actually quite a nice little city. 6% growth at the moment, which is pretty insane. Let's go for that there. And then we're nearly building in every single place. In Celembria, there's not much to build anyway. Wow. That is kind of unexpected. I did not expect that. But anyway, let's uh, end the turn one more time, guys, and see what happens. And it looks like the spies of one of the cities. Yeah. So they attacked a Belton, but they didn't siege it down. So I'm assuming that the spies have opened the gates there. So we are just going to auto-resolve that. But that is rather annoying because that means we have to double back on ourselves now. But oh well. And the Skordisky want an alliance and trade rights for a bit of money. About a thousand. Absolutely. I'll, I'll take that. Oh, well, that is just so annoying with the Belton. The Belton has uh, been changing hands quite a bit, it would seem. <laughs> oh, well... Uh, did they... Yeah, they just occupied it. Well, that's at least one good thing about this whole sorry scenario. And yeah, I just don't want to be assaulting into that. They've got four, like, pretty much full units of Thurio Foroi. That'll be horrible to deal with, even with the Rumfire Foroi. That is an absolute grind fest. I'm hoping they'll come and attack us, maybe. But yeah, for now, we're just going to chill out for a little bit. Try and get our economy back on track pump through a few turns see what we can do let's go for adrissia recruitment three in kabile i know it's a, a bit of an investment but that should be fine and then well, let's build in the large town first and then see what money we have left over we'll build the roads down in Celembria. then let's build some more archers and that is everything so let's end the turn again well guys another turn and let's see what has happened? There's a lot of wars going on. The Seleucids have attacked the Lysiads. Greek city-states have attacked the Seleucids, Kizikus, and Athens. Um, well, that's interesting. Seleucids have broken their alliances with the Antigonids, which is fantastic for us. So hopefully that will keep them uh, keep them busy for a while. The Medi and the Pontic Pentapolis is not so good for us, but everything else looking rather tasty. So that is fantastic. And then I think we'll just do a little bit of building. So let's go for um, some more of that stuff. We'll go for a market in there as well. And then Madu Tenopolis. I think the same thing can be said for Madu Tenopolis. Let's get a road in there in case we do need to come uh, to the east somewhat quickly. But uh, hopefully we don't. <laughs> you never know. You never know, do you guys? And uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. But I think we do take this, guys. I, I think we kind of have to at this point. So we do have an archer, which isn't amazing, but it, it's something. So let's see if we can beat these guys in the city. This is going to be a bloody siege. Well, we might as well use the pre-made holes in the walls, guys. So uh, let's do that. We're probably actually... What is this over there? It's just full of infantry. Hmm. Not amazing for us, but uh, let's see what we can do maybe on the left-hand side. Also considering just bringing these guys up close. Yeah, let's just bring all these guys to the left and see what we can do here. Um, and see whether we can maybe get our generals in two or generals just here to fire over the walls. These guys can pop this way too. And yeah, let's, uh, let's just see how this plays out. Well, here we go, guys. This presents a little bit of an opportunity, I've got to say. We are basically going to just charge into the city. It seems a bit silly to do so, but I think, honestly, we have the uh, we have the overwhelming power here to do so if we want to. We're going to charge into the Agrianian infantry because we should be better than them. So uh, then we'll charge into the Thurio Foroi, and these boys are going to come across there if they can do. So they've got Greek slingers and everything charging into here. I think we can stack our... Um, we can stack our ability here to uh, scare nearby enemy infantry. 
So let's do that while we have the opportunity. And hopefully we can break some. Oh, we've already broken some Greek slingers there. So you guys are going to fight them. You guys, you need to get in here and fight these boys. So there we go. And then these boys, what do we want to do? What is that? It's just Prodromoy, is it? Well, let's get our generals in to go and attack them. And then hopefully we can bring these guys in behind them as well. Uh, but looks like we're doing a good job. Come on, you should be able to beat the 304, but I'm assuming they're doing their stupid thing of uh, firing their javelins. <laughs> and then I think you guys should get there, because you should be able to fire into this 304 right? and all that sort of thing. And there we go. We should be able to break the Prodromoy, no problem. we got the Trollian infantry here. Let's see if we can uh, fire our javelins into them. Get all of you guys. I want all of you to be able to fire your javelins at them. That's going to be incredibly important for us going forward. Are you winning yet? You should be winning. But uh, there we go. What do they have left in the town square? That's what I want to want it. There we go. That was the enemy general. They do have a 304, right? So we do have to be wary of that. You guys, come on. What are you doing? Fire your javies into these boys. There we go. Oh, and it looks like... We have just made everyone route there. Everyone route. So we need to just calm down for a second and basically sort all this out. Well, there goes the uh, the Trollian infantry, boys. There goes the Trollian infantry running away. So that's fantastic for us. We do have Thuriel on the way down over here. So let's uh, gather these guys together. So let's gather these guys together. They can fight the Thurio Foroi if possible. Hopefully we can beat them. This is going to be a bit of a sticking point though now. What is my general doing? Get out of there, man. Oh, it's their general. Oh, sorry. That's good. What are these guys doing? No, 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 no. You guys fight. We're going to charge in there. And as said before, it is a little bit messy, but it is, of course, going to be messy inside the streets over here. And we are just basically chasing these boys along. They have basically ran everyone off the town square now so we can kind of try and come and bait some of these boys if we want to oh we broke the 304 roy as well okay good for us let's just keep coming forward then and here we are we are just going to block off this area looks like they're just going to keep coming forward if they do that that's absolutely fine with us we just need to chill and make sure we can take out the uh the 304 roy off the town square rather than on it. Let's go for one more charge on this Thurio Foroi. Uh, I mean, it's not going to be hugely effective. I just want to give them overwhelming uh, overwhelming numbers on top of intimidated by enemy uh, nearby enemy infantry. And hopefully that is going to be enough to break them. And as you can see, they did fire another javelin blast, which, yeah, whatever. And here we go. We are fighting these guys on the town square. The, the 304 have come and met us. That is very good for us because hopefully we can surround them now. Um, ideally, I would like you to get into there. Like, but it looks like we might be getting distracted by other stuff. Come on, guys. Go, 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 go. Just go, just go, just go, just go. The rest of these guys can deal with it. The rest of these guys can deal with it. Don't worry, don't worry. And we did break this unit down here. Fantastic. Let's bring our cavalry forward just to keep our men nice and happy. Give them a couple of bonuses. Um, and you guys, yeah, you need to go and stop this 304 from escaping. There we go, boys. There we go. Come on. Move. There we go. Quick. They're routing. Quick. Oh, my God. These fucking idiots, man. Like, why are they stopping? Like, fight them. Go. Stop walking. Have some urgency. You idiots. Jeez, man. Sometimes the pathing in the city. This is why I didn't want to fight like a big siege battle like this because the pathing is just so fucking awful. Like it is so bad. Like why did they not fix this? Jesus Christ! I'm not talking about the mod team there. I'm talking about Feral. But um, you know, Feral did an amazing job with this game. But like, I feel like some of the stuff. I don't know whether it's fixable though. That that is the that is the problem here. Like it might not actually be fixable. But all right, come on guys. We basically have killed everyone now, and we didn't lose too many men, but. Whatever. Hopefully this will have, like, destroyed Pontic Pentapolis at this point. Ah, <sighs> right then. Well, glorious victory. Well, there we go, guys. We did fully kill them. We only lost 300 men, so we still have a very healthy army overall. 
And look at that, some of their on fire for 140 kills. Very nice indeed. Glorious. And that is their main army destroyed now. The only unfortunate thing is we have to come back to the Belton to, do, to fight them again, which is just annoying, but oh well. And I think with Mesembria, we'll just occupy scene as that was owned by us previously. So is there anything we want to leave behind here? Probably the Thracian archers. There we go. And we're going to put them on low. Now, that's not ideal. But do we have anything else around here that could be of help? We definitely have those guys. So let's pop them in. And that is perfect. They're happy now. And then they've got five units in there. Ah, oh, damn. That means we're going to have to play that siege. No. I don't want to play any more sieges, man. But overall, guys, I think that was a pretty successful episode. We've taken out Pontic Pentapolis. Or we've taken out their next large army. We've fought back Byzantium. Um, cleaned up our own lands. Taken out Kabyle as well. If you did enjoy, guys, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.